let me give you some advice. How often have you wanted to say that to someone? Especially if that person is younger than you. <laughs> we can certainly share our experience and our wisdom, can't we? And how often is the advice that you're thinking about giving, advice that either you received when you were younger and didn't pay any attention, or advice that you wish someone had told you. Fellow Toastmasters, honored judges, welcome guests, I'm going to take you on a journey today where I am going to go back and give my younger selves some advice. <laughs> and let's see how that works. First, there's little Linda. She's five. She's very timid, easily frightened. And I would say to her, oh, you are so pretty and you are so smart. And I know that life scares you sometimes. And especially, you have a mommy who's been known to raise her voice. <laughs> you have to remember that she's very, very tired. And it's her job to keep three children safe now. And I would tell her, I know you have no sense of direction and you get lost a lot. <laughs> when you walk into your school, you have trouble finding your classroom. <laughs> and if the bus driver lets you off, on the wrong side of the street, you're completely lost. That's going to be with you your whole life. <laughs> but the good news is, little Linda, that your sense of direction will never get you somewhere that's not safe. So laugh at your shortcomings and learn to enjoy who you are. Imagine if that young child had known how loved she was and had better understood what a tired mother has to go through. Then I would have some advice for teenage Linda. <laughs> Linda, I know you hate being tall and you think you're way too skinny. Someday you're going to love your height. <laughs> you're going to wish that you were taller. And believe me, skinny's gonna go away. <laughs> Someday they'll even make pants that are long enough for someone of your height. You have some wonderful girlfriends and you're thinking about maybe you don't need them in your life because they're too goody-goody. Well, you're gonna wish that you had these girlfriends. And your behavior is sometimes showing signs of recklessness and I want you to be willing to take responsibility for your actions. Imagine if teenage Linda had known that someday she was going to like her height. And if she hadn't disliked herself so much that that reckless behavior only increased as she aged. And finally, I would talk to Linda, the young mother. Linda, Congratulations. That baby is something you've waited for all of your life. And you finally have her in your arms. But you know, taking her to the mall when she's three months old and handing her to a stranger just so you can get pictures with Santa Claus, not sure that was the wisest idea. And then six days after you spend Christmas morning in the emergency room, you plan a New Year's Eve party because you want to prove that your life hasn't changed. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> your life has changed. And that teenage Linda was around way past adulthood. So it's time for you to grow up and to realize what a joy it is to have those, to have that child in your life. Now, Mother Linda, you will also find that you think that it's hard now to get a child to family holidays. And you're dragging diaper bags and clothes and getting on airplanes. But appreciate these times for what they are. Because as everybody grows up, there will be no time for family holidays. And some of those family members are going to be gone. And in fact, 
your own father is not going to be here much longer. I want you to know that having that baby brought so much joy in his life and gave him the peace that he needed to be able to leave this world at a younger age. So how does all that advice work? Well, it doesn't, does it? Most of the time when we give advice, it doesn't work very well. Now, little Linda, she remains scared and timid. But today, she's grown into the confident woman that you see before you. And teenage Linda, she got pretty reckless and she stayed in a state of not liking herself for a long time. Today, she's okay with who she is, and they make pants that are long enough now. <laughs> and my most reckless behavior is probably leaving my coat in the car. <laughs> and then there's young mother, Linda. She made many more mistakes, had a lot more trips to the emergency room, and didn't know that those family holidays would get so much smaller until it was too late. But today, she has a young daughter that she can be so proud of, a young daughter that knows that she is loved and that she is beautiful. And so the advice that I would give myself today is relax. Enjoy your memories. Don't regret the past. Get a map, visit a friend, and tell your daughter you love her. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>